Good morning, children. So once again, today I welcome to all SBR 10th standard online classes. So the condition of last class, the same chapter circle. I want to start remaining questions today. Before that, you have to remember the properties of circle, even though theorem of the circles. Only two theorems, just I want to remember you today. Also, the radius drawn, tangents are always perpendicular. And second one, the external point drawn tangent to the given circle are also equal. Then inclined angles at a external point drawn tangents also equal. Even though the central angles inclined angles joined line joins to the center to the point also be equal. Now today we will discuss now ninth question. The given figure in your textbook. That's why in the figure, write down the question. Question number nine. X y and x dash y dash. X dash and y dash are two parallel tangents. Or two parallel tangents to a circle with the center O. To a circle with the center O and another tangent AB with a point of contact C intersecting XY at A. Another tangent AB with a point of contact at C intersecting XY at A and X dash Y dash at B. Prove that the angle OAB is 90 degree. AOB is 90 degree. So the given figure O is the center of the circle. X y, x dash, y dash. These two are the tangents drawn to the given circle at the point P and Q. And draw the diameter PQ. Diameter it will be passed through the center. P O Q is called diameter. Then join one more tangent to the x y and x dash. See another tangent A B. Another tangent this line A B point of contact at C intersecting intersecting that. AB tangent XY at A, X dash Y dash at B. Now the angle 193, this angle 193, that is called angle AOB is equal to 90 degree. You have to prove that. Now let us Prove before that you should write the given O is the center of the circle. O is the center of the circle. X y and x dash y dash. X y and x dash y dash are two parallel tangents. See, 
to parallel tangents. Tangents to a circle with the center O. To the circle with the center O. PO Q is a diameter. PO Q is called diameter. Another transit AB. Another transit AB XC. AB a contact point C. Now to prove, what should prove? These are all given. The angle AOB is 90 degrees. AOB is equal to 90 degrees. You have to prove this one. And construction. Join OC. The dotted line indicates in always figure that is construction. Join OC to the tangent AB. Now consider, now I am giving proof, but consider the triangle 1, angle 1, that is nothing but AOC. The triangle, see the diagram, AOC. And the triangle a O P this one triangle A O C another triangle A O P in these two triangles. You have to prove these two are congruent triangles by using some axioms and postulates and some terms congruent. See first of all in this triangle. OA is common side for both the triangles and OC is a radius even though OP is also base of the circle even though here OQ is also radius OC, OP and OQ is a radius but we are talking about in these two triangles OC is equals to OP and OA is equals to OA first quarter right OC, AOC triangle. The side is OC is equal to OP because radius of a circle, radius of the circle are equal. The common side OA is equal to OA because it is a common side. common side for both the triangles. So one more property you can use here, theorem number 2, A is an external point, A is an external point, drawn tangents are equal, A, C is equal to A, P, because this is also sides of these two triangles, A, C is equal to A, P, because external line, external point A, drawn to the tangents. AP and AC are equal. AP is equal to so first you write AC because we are in triangle AOC that side. AC is equal to AP because theorem number 2. You know that theorem number 2 means you have to write the statement. The external External point drawn tangents are equal. See all three sides equal. SSS postulates the triangle AOC is congruent to triangle AOP. The congruent triangle, their corresponding angles are equal. The 
angle 192 are equal. That 192 is nothing but you should write angle AOC is equal to AOC is equal to AOB. Angle AOB by CPCD corresponding part of congruent triangles. Similarly, you can another two triangles B Q O B O C. These two also you have to prove that congruent triangles. Just I want to explain. Listen, you go on write it in triangle O B Q and in triangle B O C these two in triangle O C is equals to O Q because radius of the circle. How we are the radius of the circle. Then O B is common side for both the triangles. Second point, common side for both the triangles. B is an external point, the drawn tangents are equal. B C is equal to B Q. B C is equal to B Q. Therefore, the angle 3 and 4, the angle 3 and 4 is nothing but the angle B O Q and B O C also equal angle by CPCD. Similarly, similarly, the angle B O Q is equal to B O Q is equal to B O C. Here also, this is by C P C D. In a triangle, in a triangle, B O Q and B C O. Same. What written? See these two triangles. One and two. This part of the triangle. Next, I take another these two. O C equals to O Q. O B is equal to O B. Common side for both the triangles. Then B C is equal to B Q. That is external point drawn and this are equal. Then angle A O C is equal to A O P. B O Q equal to B O C. Next P O Q is a diameter. Given here. P O Q is a diameter. Means from here to here, it will be straight line. So it forms 180 degree. How much? 180 degree. So angle A O P, angle A O P, A O C plus C O B plus B O Q. All four angles. One, two, three, four. Together, I return. Plus A O P. This one. Next, A O C. This one, middle. C O B. Third one, C O B. And fourth one is B O Q. This all sum of four angles is equal to 180 degree. Because you write this because P O Q is a diameter. P O Q is a diameter. The angle A O P and A O C. Here A O C is equal to A O P and A O P is equal to A O C. Now substitute in the place of A O P that is A O C you should substitute. A O C plus A O C. Next here B O Q B O Q B O Q also have to substitute B O Q is equal to B O C B O C B O C R C B O C one C 
CBO, COB. That's equals to 180. Here, BOQ is equal to COB. Then, instead of BOQ, substitute COB from by second congruent of the channels. Now, AOC, AOC, how many are there? Two. A COB, COB also two. The take common two to AOC plus two COB is equals to 180 degree. Now, take the common two. The angle AOC plus COB is equals to 180 degree. Then two should transfer the, this side, it will be device. That will be device. After division, how much you get? What, what they told to prove? AOB is 90 degree. Keep in your mind. Always to prove, to keep in your mind. Now, AOC plus COB. AOC plus COB. Only this angle, this angle consider as a whole AOB. AOC plus COB is equal to 180 by 2, that will be 90 degree. And AOC plus COB is considered as AOB. These two angles, the sum of AOC plus COB. AOC plus COB, this 1 and 3, the together, sum is called the full angle of the triangle AOB. This triangle, AOB. AOB is equal to 90 degrees. And screw. Because they told to prove 90 degrees. See, students, one more time on to dictate, understand the question, and also the sum. What you have to prove it. O is the center of the circle. X1 and X dash Y dash are the two tangents drawn to the given circle at point P and Q. Draw the di diameter POQ. And one more tangent, another tangent, you have to draw it, another tangent. The point will be x y a, x dash y dash b, and the contact a b tangent contact at the point of c. Just you should draw the radius o c how to join. That is called construction. O c is a construction. That one not given in diagram. You have to carefully how to join it. I told why the construction will take will take extra help to need for through the theorem. That's why join OC. Then consider the two triangles AOC and AOP. AOC and AOP in these two triangles. See, OA is common side for both the triangles. OC is equal to OP, radius of the circle. Two sides over. So one more side is AP is equal to AC. Because external point ground tangents are equal. Then by CPCT, you have to write the angle 1 and 2 are equal. That is only this angle 1 and 2 is nothing but AOC is equal to AOP by corresponding part of congruent triangles. Similarly, you can take another two triangles that is BOQ and BOC in these two triangles. Again, OC is equal to OQ, radius of the circle. OB is common side for both the triangles. B is an external point. Drawn tangents are equal to BC and BQ. Then angle 3 and 4. Angle 3 and 4, that is nothing but BOQ is equal to COB. Now, one thing you have to remember, POQ is the diameter. POQ is a diameter, the sum of all four angles. 1, 2, 
3, 4. Sum of all 4 angles is equal to 180 degree. Then you have to substitute instead of 2, 1 angle is substitute. Instead of 3, 4 you have to substitute. Instead of 4 you have to substitute 3. Here COB. Here AOC. How many AOC? 2 AOC are there. 2 COB take common outside. Then transfer this side, it will be device. Then together AOC, 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 COB together, that is called AOB. What is that question number 10? Question number 10 should draw the diagram and even though the question also. Question number 10. Prove that prove that the angle between the two tangents. Between the two tangents drawn from an external point external point external point to a circle to a circle is supplementary is supplementary means 180 degree to the angle suspended angle suspended by the line sigma the line segment joining the points joining the points of contact contact at the center at the center see Prove that the angle between the two tangents. The question number 10 one. Prove that the angle between the two tangents drawn from an external point to a circle is supplementary to the angle subtended by the line segment joining the point of contact at the center. You should draw the circles of Having center O. Having the center O. Brother tangents. Prove that the angle between the two tangents, this is angle between the two tangents, drawn from an external point to a circle is supplementary. To the angle subtended by the line segment joining the points of contact at the center. See, contact at the center. This is O. Draw given in portion only. We need not to construction here. The extra point P, AP and DP are the two tangents. AP and DP are the two tangents.
O is the center of the circle. O is the center of a circle. The given data. A P I and B P I are the tangents. B P I are the tangents to the given circle O. To the given circle. Now you know it. External point on tangents are equal, and O is equal to O B. Radius are equal. The equal side, opposite angles are equal, and radius drawn. Tangents are always perpendicular. This is the radius. This is the tangents drawn. Always perpendicular. Therefore, now see here. P A O Q. P A O B is called a one of the quadrilateral. One of the quadrilateral. The sum of these four angles are equal to the 360 degree. O A is equal to O B because of radius of a circle. AP is equal to BP because of tangent drawn to the external point. AP is equal to BP because tangent drawn from an external point.
no need to worry about how to solve this see statement you can understand what is the question given the angle between the two tangents that is angle p we are not here this one is angle c angle between the two tangents drawn from an external point to a circle is supplementary to the angle subtended to the angle subtended by the line segment joining the point of contact to the center the angle subtended by the contact point to the central angle this angle plus this angle is equals to 180 degree very simple the opposite angles of the quadrilateral also 180 degree these two are 90 degree angle a is 90 degree b is also 90 degree this sum of these two is one is acute one is acute both together is supplementary one is okay take down question number 11 So, how can this book go on right that question number 11? Honestly. The question number 11 is, you should write on question number 11. Prove that. Parallelogram circumscribing circumscribing a circle is a rhombus. Now to prove that. First one, parallelogram is a we have to prove that as a rhombus. Question number 11. You have to prove that. Prove that the parallelogram circumscribing a circle is a rhombus. Should draw according to the diagram. According to the question. How to draw the diagram? Draw the circle. Circumscribing is inside the quadrilateral one circle to draw. That is called parallel draw. Is a parallel ground, even though can because the question given the parallel ground prove that as a rhombus. Very simple question. We have to understand the basic concept of circle. We can do the easy. One more side for this side. Touch the circle. In all four 
proses. the parallelogram to name that parallelogram a b c d is a parallelogram a b c and d is a parallelogram circumscribing in a circle and how to prove that is called a rhombus Where is the contact point? You have to go on, draw the two diameters. P, Q, R, S. Even though you have to draw in diagonal, AC, even though B is. Because 
cos anti radius drawn to the tangents are perpendicular this is the radius this also radius drawn tangents are perpendicular using the rhs postulates one is right angle another two sides rhs postulates the triangle dop is congruent to triangle dos by cpct you have right pb equal to the pb is equals to ds dp is equals to ds because by corresponding part of congruent triangles now to treat this equation number 1 also this is equation number 1 by cpc lastly one more point ap is equals to as why ap is equals to as very good because of external point down tangents are equal thank you x ap equal to as because of external point theorem number 2 theorem number 2 external point drawn then c a is external point to draw as and ap given b is an external point p q is equal to pb like that all four sides so now adding one and two equations adding equation 1 and 2 ap plus bp ap plus bp ap plus bp is equals to as plus ds c students here ap plus pb the measurement that is called ab and as plus ds as plus ds that measurement is ad c in a parallelogram ab is equals opposite sides are equal ab is equal to cd but here ab is also equal to ad therefore in parallelogram ab is equal to cd even though bc is equal to ad bc is equal to ad then from this conclusion all sides are equal ab is equal to ad is equal to cd is equal to bc all four sides are equal that's why ab cd is a homos ab cd is the homos what Don't to prove you people see here ab cd is the homos so first it is a parallelogram ab is opposite side is cd bc opposite side is ad this one parallelogram opposite sides are equal but you are taking these two triangles a triangle 1 and triangle 2 to prove these two are congruent the corresponding sides bp and ds are equal then from the external point AP, AS are also equal. See, adding equation one and two, AP plus BP, what for? AP plus BP is full measurement. AB, AS plus BS is AD. See, AB equals to AD. Before AB is equals to CD. See, and AD is equals to BC. All sides are equal. In rhombus, all sides are equal. Then it is called a AB CD is called a rhombus. Thank you, students. So again, remaining questions tomorrow. I want to explain you people. Thank you. Thank you.